peace. Good afternoon, on that. <laughs> First big job of 2021. Yeah. And just jacking the car up. And that was just jacking the car up. We, uh, we've been out here an hour already. Basically today, you've got to have this car on the road by Monday, haven't you? Yeah, today's Sunday. Today's Sunday, so we've, uh, we've got plenty of time. And the bags on the back of the 5 Series uh, have gone, the air suspension. Yeah, it's quite weird, like if you leave it for maybe an hour, well less than that, 10 minutes sometimes, it'll just sit right down on its back. They do actually still inflate, but if you leave it parked, they just come down. Or even if you're driving, when they're pumped up, if you stop at a red light, it'll just drop down. And then it's literally like driving, well, a low rider. It does look good. It looks good, yeah. It looks sick, just yeah. not great for suspension. So yeah, big, big job, really. Uh, well, for us, considering we've never done anything like this. You were gonna have someone do it. Unfortunately, you just ran out of time, didn't we? So yeah. it's been left to us, but you were quoted, what, a grand to do it? Yeah, I think it's around 900 quid, but we bought the bags for 375, so big saving. Exactly. Um, what, a nice Sunday afternoon spent doing what we like, so why not? And the car is now jacked up yeah. on uh, a number of different things. We've triple safeguarded ourselves. <laughs> Two axle stands, uh, the backup brick, and then the wheels on each side as well, because yeah. we are on gravel, it's not ideal, but it should yeah. be fine. We don't want uh, maybe two, two and a half ton of German machinery coming down on us. <laughs> So yeah, we're cracking on. Uh, we reckon this will take, what, half an hour? Yeah. <laughs> in, in and out, job done. <laughs> All right, first things first, you had to get a little plastic tray off, didn't you? Yeah, a little plastic under tray, um, just kind of bridging between the bumper and the compressor unit cover. Yeah, nice and easy, so that was just plastic clips which popped straight off. Yeah, and then it is the uh, compressor cover itself, which I think is two bolts, and I think there's a couple more hidden up. What this will do, basically, will just help us get access. So with the wheels off, you can see the bags here. The rock side at the moment, because obviously it's lowered, but uh, that is what we're gonna be looking to swap, which looks like a pain in the ass. I'm gonna jinx it now by saying, on the tutorial we've watched, it looks fairly easy, but <laughs> famous last words. So that is the compressor unit cover. Cool. The actual cover itself. So that's yeah. out. Um, Giving us access to your compressor units, where you're gonna have to now loosen the air, aren't you? Well, you're gonna have yeah, to- Yeah, I'm gonna drain that air out. Get the so air out of it. There's a couple of ways you can do this, actually, from what I've read and seen. You can loosen these, so blue is left, red is right, or vice versa. Um, you can just undo them there. But I've heard to save doing that, you can just actually drill the airbag or slice the airbag. Oh, really? Let it drain out. But then, if you've maybe got the wrong size airbag and we don't know yet, <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that'd be a nightmare. You're, uh, I mean, you're stuck. What do we use for, for gauging whether they're the right airbags? Which was just the Eurocar parts reg thing, wasn't it? Eurocar parts do not let us down. Yeah. So drain the air, I think. Drain the um, air. So what are you going to do? You're going to loosen it? Or are you going to stab the airbags? I think loosen it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what's happening now? We're gonna we're loosening this bad boy. We're gonna let all the air out. Well, this. a little bit of air out, so we should hear a hissing sound. Hopefully, there we go. Here we go. I smell barbecue. I can smell barbecue. It's gonna be torture this doing this with the smell of burgers. <laughs> yeah. So, in theory, these bags should now be softer. Yeah, softer than touch. So before they were like a brick. So it's going to be nice and soft now to get out. So far, so good. Alfie, because we're borrowing his bed, he's going to come and sit on his bed. <laughs> Alfie, we're using it. Such confusion. Alfie. Well, this is going to make things difficult. How are we, we going to fit in there? We're just like. Uh. <laughs> Alfie. So, yeah, we're going to check now. Apparently, on these ones, um, they don't have like a compression fit in, they're like a push fit if you compare it to plumbing. Okay. So we just need to check that we are actually gonna fit. We should have maybe checked this first, but you can't actually check until you've taken <laughs> the old one out. Yeah, until we actually see what we're working with. And they're, they're the original bags, aren't they? They've not been replaced before. Yeah, OEM. I dread to think what the actual, the OEM ones would cost if you wanted to replace them. Yeah. That looks a lot different. So, so good. That looks, that's got a brass grommet. Well, not grommet, but. Yeah. That looks a lot different to me. We'll soon find out. We will. But that looks a lot different. So, 
There's a clip on the bottom. Yeah, we've got the same clip. Um, and these apparently push in and turn clockwise to lock in place. So to take this one off, we're gonna turn it anti-clockwise, drop it down, cut the pipe, and then our pipe goes into this. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a little bit of a size difference, but it might be that because that's OEM, it, they made it a different size. You don't need that size. We'll give it a go. Let's give it a go, mate. All right, so, so it should now nice. Push through, which is loosen this. So apparently, well, we just spin it anti clockwise. This is all going very well. It is. What, what is going to go wrong, not, not when. Fit. <laughs> that's what's going to go wrong. <laughs> okay, anti clockwise. Okay, there we go. So, and that's what we need to snip. We can neaten that with a plier, can't we? Yeah. And this should come straight out. Definitely a wheel off job. We were debating whether oh, we needed to or not. Can you even imagine trying to wrestle it around the, the wheel? Yeah. All right. That should be reassuring, mate. It looks very similar to the other bag. Yeah, it does now, doesn't it? You were right. She's coming. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at the wear there. Oh, yeah. So we think the reason this is leaking, we know it's leaking because the garage who were going to replace it diagnosed it by spraying washing up liquid on it and those bubbles. So we think because of lockdown and it's been sat for a long time, it's uh, you know maybe just sat awkwardly and it perished. Yeah. yeah, ruptured it. But I mean, this is quite common. Well, not a common thing, but there's enough um, you know forum posts and YouTube videos to know yeah. that this is something that can happen. Yeah, but apparently it's quite rare for both bags to go. Oh, really? At the I same time, because I suppose it's... But if it's been sat for a long time, then all the weight's on it, isn't it? So maybe... But. True. So actually, when you put the two bags next to each other, you know, they, they do look slightly different. But same the fittings are identical, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. good. Phew. Thank God. No. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Imagine if There's that dropped the, in the, the ground. finest piece that you could possibly lose. All right, so I'm just going to square the end of that up because I know we kind of cut it with a thingy. I just don't want to... That's round now, isn't it? Yeah. Is that fine. looking good? Yeah, yeah. Looking good. Okay. What do you reckon then we feed it on? Let's do it. Seems like we're missing a step because it's that easy. It does, but doesn't it? What we're used to now. Like the hardest part genuinely was getting the sodding wheels off and jacking it at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so now that's taking double what it's taking us to get the thing off. So we have to remember apparently when we push this back up you have to turn it clockwise to lock it in. <laughs> Otherwise, Otherwise you've got some loose bag. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise that thing's fl flopping around. It's easier to put it back in. Yeah. The actual um the boot at the bottom was thinner, wasn't it? So Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's why they did it. Knowing that people are putting them on themselves, man. Mm. So we have our guy here first. We in, we in. And then our tiny little Olive. Oh, there we go. Come on. So we've got a little olive on, so let's push in. It's a matter of feeding it through. It was already through the hole, wasn't it? Oh. <laughs> Nicely spotted. Save us a job taking the back Oh, God, can you imagine? So you don't want to over tighten it? Yeah. There we go. I don't want to crack the little plastic. No. Okay. So first bag is in and attached. So we're gonna push it up. Push it up turn and then it. turn it clockwise. Yep. And then effectively what this should do is hang um, with a bit of a gap between this and the mount at the bottom because when the car lowers, we're gonna have to feed that into the mount and put the clips through. Wow, that was quick. Simple as that. It's a bit loose when you let go because it twists slightly, but then if I turn it fully clockwise, which it will be, that's solid, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's one in there. Can you can you open that now that there's a, a hole in it? Accordion style it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, solid, that's oh, wow. the Wow, okay. <laughs> I hear it's just worrying about travel. <laughs> there's definitely enough room there. That's mad, that, isn't it? That is mad. How it just like accordions itself. Weird. Okay, so bag number two now, feet to go. So we're up, unclipped. All right. And then it's just a matter of turning the 
and pulling it down like that. Yep, anti clockwise. Should drop. On you. I don't like it dropped then. There we yeah. go. I was turning it the wrong way like an idiot. <laughs> Always helps, doesn't it really? There we go. So did you do we snip that there? Yeah, snip uh, as close as we can to the thing. Get it as flat as we can. Yeah, flatten as square as we can and then it just pulls out. Red line be tougher. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay. So what's always good is um, something's just fallen out of the car. Let me check if that was And we're not really sure what it was. But bag number two is out. Mother hobbard. Knee your brake disc. <laughs> it does look like that, that could go on, it does, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Looks like almost identical. Same, same yeah. Concern, isn't it? <laughs> it's so hot today now. It wasn't even meant to be. Okay. Thank God we got a breeze. Right now, let's not lose that little gem. A little tiny girl. <laughs> Nearly lost it already. <laughs> Bad start. Goes in so much easier than coming out. It? I'm glad we put gloves on, aren't you? Yeah. There we go. See that cut was so so epic. You, no one has any idea. We just ate a load of cheese toasties in between. <laughs> okay. And a cookie. And a cookie. And a water. <laughs> it's tightened already, so it's just a matter of putting it through and then turning it. It's one of those where you just really have to feel, isn't it? Like there's no yeah. way of knowing. Snort and break for um, powder as well. <laughs> okay, both bags are fitted, and we very nearly moved on to the next step without actually doing the compressor. Tighten the uh, airlines up, so yeah, if we'll get them tightened up and fill it with And then it's a case of, uh, like we said, effectively guiding the bottom of the bags into the actual mounts and making sure the clips go through. And we can't do that until air goes in, starts inflating it and expanding it. Back to what we know. Pink arms. Pink arms. Mate, at least you tan, I just burn. There's one video last year where you come back from holiday and you look completely different. Like... <laughs> my legs are a different colour, aren't they? Weirdly. <laughs> I don't know why I just my legs. And I was looking particularly pale because I think I'd, I'd been inside for like two weeks working, so it's like. Oh, see what you mean about the Alonso neck here? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's not a comfortable sort of situation to keep you naked. Yeah. <laughs> right, so the plan is Matt's going to start the car let the air start to expand then dive out of the car <laughs> try and guide it and run around the side and try and guide that and i'm going to do well you do this side because yeah. you're driving so i'll do that side and we've got to try and guide them both in whilst the air's you know yeah flooding well, them again that air's coming in otherwise it's going to be uh <laughs> well i don't know what will happen but... well yeah i'm going to find that this could be interesting Stick it up like through the hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do the same thing. Guide it, maybe. In fact, we yeah. just need to line that up with that mount, which we might just be able to see. Yeah. Right. Let's you do this. Ready? ready? Let's do it. So this should start expanding. Not yet, but it might just take a sec. It's probably got to increase the compression again, hasn't it? Doesn't seem to be getting any stiffer, you know. No. We knew it'd happen eventually. We got a problem. All right, so we have a solution. We effectively are going to drop the car back on the wheels. The video that we're using does say, how does he say it in the video? <laughs> if you drop it down, it will work, I promise. There we go. So if we drop it down, it will work. And basically, we're just going to hope that that works because we're we sort of haven't really got a solution otherwise, have we? Yeah, we've done everything to the letter anyway, so it's basically from looking at the tutorials, that's the only way it could work, is actually drop it down and start driving it, so we'll give yeah. it a go. If not, we know what we've done is right. Also, do you want to point out that, that random ass buddy? Yeah, someone hit me and there's like a screw indentation from the guy's With the crosshead? Plate. Yeah, still got the crosshead and that's from his number plate. The good thing is it looks so neat that it just looks like an additional <laughs> reversing sensor it or something. It actually does, doesn't it? Yeah, so you get away with that. It's slightly off centre, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's um, refit the trim then. Yeah, get this back on. OK, 
Okay, the car is lowered. Both bags have sort of dropped in. Uh, they've not clicked in, but they're sat pretty as tight as they're going to get, aren't yeah. they? Seated in position, I think, when the air comes on and press comes on, it will push it. Yeah, we're going to give it a go. Let's try. Oh, yeah, that was the click. Come on. It looks like it's raising. It's raising. <laughs> Okay, well that worked a treat. It's still up? Yeah. On the left? I heard oh. like a, a noise. Don't say that. Yeah, still up mate. You can drive forward, you'll be fine. The acid test probably got a litmus test. The, the, the test is to take it for a drive around the block because in the past this would be fine, it would do this, but then when it stopped at a traffic light it would just go down. Okay. So I think we need to take it out. And that'll test whether it's the compressor or the actual bags. Yeah. All right, let's do that. All right, moment of truth. Please stay up. That's a nice Z3, that, isn't it? That's very nice. Shame about the rear window. <laughs> let's not look at that too much. <laughs> that, man, like kebab blister. Right where you're like screwing bolts. We won't go into depth about how Matt got his kebab finger, but it was very funny. Okay, feeling smooth. So it's a lot smoother than it has been, definitely. It's the first time Matt's driven it in ages. Yeah, so even then that little bump would have been like, <laughs> definitely. It's like the shocks went with it, it's weird, because it was right on its arse. So now we stop here, it will go down within three seconds, so let's just see. Still we holding. are still holding. And the road we're going down now is <laughs> well Real known test. for being like a roller coaster, yeah. So yeah, this was completely undrivable, so I made up with that. We uh you literally couldn't like that then. I know that particular <laughs> pothole, you only drive the same road every day. Yeah. That was a killer. You'd feel it in your spine, so yeah, made up. That's crazy. I think it's definitely cured it. And what's the saving then from two lads doing it down the side of the house? Uh, I think that's over five hundred pounds saved on obviously labour and the, uh, the actual bags themselves. So, this yeah. road is so bad. Alfie oh. looks how I feel. Yeah, this job has been so much harder because of the sun. It actually has, it's been really hot, but we've got the beers. <laughs> That's the first time the 5 Series has appeared on the channel. Yeah, probably is, the bus. Other than when we picked up the bigness. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the, the daily bus. Daily bus. Matt has done various little bits to that, but it's just never appeared, hasn't it? Yeah, it's just uh, it's to fit the greyhound in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you when you've got a, a horse dog, it's just part of the territory. So, if you have the same issue with your bags, we say it a lot. But if we can do that, you can do it as well. Yeah. And if anyone maybe watching this who isn't part of you know watching our normal stuff, put uh, a question in the comments if you want some advice or help. We'll tell you what we did if there's something you're unsure of. As per usual, if you're new to the channel, if this is the first time you've you've seen the chaos that we get up to, um, you can find us on Instagram at Roblox TV. We are on Facebook, but we never update it. I'm not going to lie. We've got a big Indian following though, for some reason. <laughs> Huge in India. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> So you can find it in those spots. Uh, and we are, again, going to be trying to go weekly. We're going to keep trying to stay weekly. So uh, stay tuned for next week's video, whatever that may be. All right. Thanks very much for watching. If you're not subscribed, give us a sub. Yeah. See you on the next one. See you on the next one. Cheers. Yeah.